had a standing order to declassify any sensitive materials that he uh, wanted to bring home, uh, bring down to Mar-a-Lago. Was this ever a, a, a topic of discussion when you were the White House press secretary, uh, that there might be concerns about Trump bringing you know, t uh, top secret classified documents down to Mar-a-Lago or mishandling them in some way at the property? It was never discussed. Um, I, I've talked about this before a little bit. We didn't exactly have a culture of compliance at the White House when it came to how we handled things. Um, and I think that came straight from the top, as we're certainly learning now. But, you know, he did he did things all the time that made people kind of shake their heads and have to scramble later. Um, there was never a standing order. I was never, I never heard of a standing order. I was never told when I became press secretary and director of communications and got my briefings. That was never something in a briefing that I received. So as usual, this is them trying to throw some, you know, anything at the wall to see what will stick and distract people from the fact that he potentially broke the law and potentially put the country and, as Olivia was saying, our intelligence community potential foreign intelligence sources potentially in danger. And that's very, very serious. And, and Stephanie, uh, just a follow up to that. I mean, given what you know about Mar-a-Lago, is that a place to take top secret classified documents and store them, do you think? Absolutely not. Um, Mar-a-Lago, when we were down there, despite it being called the Winter White House, it was a membership club first and foremost. Members could bring guests. There was very little vetting. I know that the president's current lawyers are saying it's this very secure property, but that's just not true. A teenager got on property once just to see if he could do it. Of course, we had a Chinese national who got on property one time. Um, you go down to that beach area, and anybody can access Mar-a-Lago from the beach. There is Secret Service there, but they're just looking for weapons. They're just they're not they're not checking IDs. They're not seeing who's coming. So uh, Mar-a-Lago is honestly probably one of the worst places I can imagine it being um, of all the Trump properties.